Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So here, somehow integrate this. So press pause and uh, and have a go. Okay, so to do this, visualize this thing here as um, as uh, x to the power of minus two uh, times uh, times the natural log of x. So now we can use integration by parts on this. Okay, so so visualize that thing as uh, as uh, as this one block multiply another block. So let this be v prime. Let this be u. So uh, so so if u equals this, then uh, then u prime equals this. If v prime equals this, then normal v would be this. So now blindly follow the instruction here. It's saying get u times v. It's saying get u times v. So this here would be um, would be uh, negative. Uh, natural log of x over x. Take away the integral of it's saying get u prime times v. So u prime times v. So that would be negative um, one over x squared dx. And then we can take this out. So blah blah. blah. This whole thing here would then become this. Would then become this. Okay. So now now it's just a matter of uh, integrating this. So integrating that will then give you will then give you this. So this here is our final answer. Okay. Uh, next question here. So so somehow integrate this. So uh, so press pause and have a go. Okay. So to do this, we could use let w equals um, uh, equals the natural log of x. But try and visualize this as this. Hang on. Try and visualize. Hang on. Bear with me. Try and visualize this thing here as as one over x. So that's one block. Sorry. Um, yeah. Try and visualize it like this. Uh, natural log of x, uh, and then and then uh, to the power of three. So uh, so if if you look at this, um, if you look at this block here, this thing here is the exact derivative of what's in this block here. So, so when you're integrating, when you're integrating something like this, try and try and realize that this thing here is the exact derivative of uh, of, of of the natural log of x. So, so when you integrate this, you're really looking for something in such a way that when you differentiate it, it will give you this thing here. Well, make this to be your initial guess. Make this to be your your initial guess. Hang on. Make make this to be your initial guess to the power of four. Okay, so so hang on, let's start again. So we're we're trying to integrate this. Um, so we are really looking for something in such a way that when we differentiate it, it will give us this thing here. So uh, so make this to be your initial guess. Make natural log of x to the power of four. Now when you differentiate this, it will be this. It will be four natural log of x to the power of three. And then we got it times with the derivative of uh, of this thing. So the derivative of this thing here would be one over x. You see, this thing here matches up with with this, and then this here matches up with this. So all you have to do is make the adjustment for this four. So it should be a quarter. So so the the uh, the moral of this question here is is really to uh, to to spot that this is the exact derivative of this thing here. So, uh, so when you come to integrate it, um, well, you, you would make your initial guess. Your initial guess being this to the power of four, and then when you differentiate it, it gives you four natural log, and then to the power of three, and then you've got to times with the derivative of this thing here, one over x. You see, everything matches up except from this four. So make this to be your your adjustment. So, uh, so, so our final answer would be would be uh, would be everything here. Plus c. So this here is our final answer. Okay, so so you could you could do this. You could follow it. You could say let w equals this blah 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 and then blah 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 and then overall it will um, it will give you the uh, sorry it would give you this. The final answer would be the same. Uh, the final answer would be this. Okay.